Hey, what is up guys? BTR Designs here and today I'm coming at you with another tutorial. This time it's going to be an After Effects tutorial showing you guys how to do animations um, uh, using uh, After Effects which is going to be considered uh, video overlays I call them. Um, it's different from uh, uh, Twitch overlays. Uh, they're basically video uh, formatted uh, uh, to with transparent backgrounds so you can just slap it onto your stream and it'll basically animate while you are streaming and you can make it loop and all that type of stuff so um, I actually had someone request uh, something like this in the, in the comments of my last tutorial where I showed you guys how to make a twitch overlay in Photoshop so I'm gonna go ahead and start this but before I start I'm going to say that this is recommended for PC users only because of some of the features of uh, this um, tutorial is going to require things that are, I guess are only available for PC users. I have yet to find anything for Mac users. So I highly recommend that this is only for if you have a PC, if you're running a PC, then this is better for PC users and not Mac. So I just want to say that before uh, I start with the tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, well first we're going to open After Effects and we're going to go to a composition and add a new composition. So the composition is going to be set at 1280 by 720. Um, that's mostly what people run at when they stream uh, 30 frames per second. And I'm going to change the duration uh, to 20 seconds. And I'm going to put the background color at black. Let me go ahead and rename that real quick. I'm going to name the composition to animation number one. Click OK. And I'm going to uh, import my video, my uh, image files, which will be, uh, if you guys watch my last tutorial on how to make a Twitch overlay in Photoshop, you guys can use um, that uh, files. What you want to do is you want to export them as PNGs so that they have no background. Um, that this is the only way it'll work is if you have a PNG of your files of your pictures from Photoshop so I'm gonna go ahead and import that one first and I also made a bottom portion of my twitch overlay uh, which will be for text scrolling across I did see a comment by someone that wanted to know about donation animations so I wanted to basically do it kinda of, I guess you can consider this a donation animation which is text scrolling across um, I highly recommend that you guys uh, you know use this for basically like you know social media and stuff like that because I mean it would be a pain to keep changing it um, but uh, I mean this is very similar to what what you were requesting whoever made that comment so I'm gonna go ahead and import that one as well but I'm gonna start with the first part the first portion which is the top uh, part where it shows your your name and your social media icons up here and what we're going to do is we're going to add a nice glare going right across uh, your overlay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the file I just uh, dragged into the timeline and I'm going to press control C and control V. That'll duplicate that layer and I'm going to make sure that the layer that you just pasted in um, is selected, the top one, and right click and put the blending mode to add. And this will make it nice and uh, it'll make it super bright. Um, but don't worry, it'll uh, we'll fix that in just a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that uh, one we just added the blended mode to add, and we're going to basically add a mask to it. So we're going to make a nice rectangle right here in a diagonal orientation, and we're going to basically make that the glare space to where it's going to basically only show this slight portion um, of the overlay that we just made into the add blending mode. So we're going to click right here. We're going to make a nice rectangle, like so. As you can see, it disappeared, but really it's only going to be appearing in the section that we just made the mask only inside of it, nothing outside of this section. So now what we're going to do is we're going to animate um, this shape that we just made with the pen tool being our mask. And we're going to click on the little arrow on that, uh, that file, that layer, and we're going to go click on mask and mask one. And there'll be a nice... Uh, section right here named mask path which is going to be considered the shape of it so you can basically manipulate the shape and you can keyframe it so uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically just drag it right across because we don't need to change um, the shape of it we just want the shape to stay in its orientation stay in its shape and drag it right across so we're gonna do this I'm going to basically move the ticker where I want the animation to start I'm gonna uh, start it at three seconds 
and I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to the mask path and we're going to move the arrow to where we want the animation to end I'm gonna make it last for only one second so now what we're going to do is we're going to, with the pin tool selected, we're going to go at the corner right here of the mask shape and we're going to click and drag it right across. Like so. And as you, you pan back in the timeline, you'll see that it's animating right across, uh, giving you a nice glare effect um, to your overlay. As you can see, when you move, when I go and zoom in closely, you see that it's nice and sharp because it's keeping the um, layer only in this portion of the shape. If you want it to start bleeding out um, of the uh, uh, mask, then you want to go to the mask feather right here in your mask options under mask path. And I'm going to put this at about 20. And this will basically give it a nice feather at the, uh, the edges. Basically like a blur effect uh, as you would in... Uh, Photoshop, as you can see, it's nice scrolling across. And when I turn, when I use this uh, toggle transparency grid, you'll see that whatever is in uh, uh, what's not checkered is going to show up on your overlay. So keep that in mind when you toggle this. Whatever um, is on uh, besides the checkers, um, this is showing you that it's transparent. It's going to be showing up. So this is the only thing that's going to be showing up on my overlay, and the glare going right across from it. So now to, on to the X portion. Um, we're going to go and the add, uh, add render queue, and we're going to go to the output module, and we're going to change the format from AVI to QuickTime. QuickTime is basically a .mov file format, and it, it's the best file format to use. Not only can you use um, uh, alpha channels within this format, but it'll also also keep the file size very very small, so you won't have to worry about big file sizes. Um, as most people, it'll keep it at the low under 50 meg megabits megabytes. So um, that's a a really good format to use. If you use AVI, I've tried AVI in the past and it'll actually make your video files uh, over one gig so I would not recommend you using AVI. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to channels under video output and we're going to change it to RGB plus alpha. This will basically keep the color uh, of your overlay the same but also keeping uh, everything in the background nice and transparent so that all that's uh, showing up on your over uh, your stream is just this portion right here. We're going to click OK, and then you guys can render that out. And I'm going to render because I rendered one out uh, prior to this video. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the text one uh, scrolling across. We're going to go to Composition and add a new composition and change this to Animation number 2. Same, uh, same uh, dimensions that you had used in the last one as long as your uh, dimensions of your photo file is the same uh, 1280 by 720 with a 30 frame per second and I'm going to change the duration to 12 seconds this nation this is a little bit shorter to work with and I'm going to click uh, background color on black quick uh, quick reminder when you do the animation for this one when you make it 20 seconds you probably want to move this across like this uh, you know to about maybe 15 seconds because for some reason when I move it uh, let it run all the way to the 20 seconds uh, in OBS it'll actually uh, uh, make it disappear and reappear and we don't want that we want it to make it nice and smooth and not uh, disappear at all um, so now we're gonna go back to the animation number two we're gonna put the file in on the lower portion of the twitch overlay and we're going to uh, I'm going to scale this down because my file is at 1920 by 1080 and I'm on a 1280 by 720 file right now I'm going to put the black background on so it's easier for me. So once you have the bottom portion in place, what you're going to want to do is you want to add some text. So I'm going to add a nice text um, right in here. I'm going to put uh, just thanks, thank you for watching my stream. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically drag this out of the area uh, of the overlay. So I'm going to drag this about right here. Move that down ever so slightly. And we're going to basically animate this text to scroll across, but only in this black uh, section that I have here, not on the complete overlay. So how we're going to do that is we're going to basically right click and put a pre-compose uh, pre this and name this text. 
I'll let you see all that. I'll just move all attributes into the new composition. Don't click any of that stuff. And click OK. And we're going to go into this pre-comp. And we're going to animate the text just going across. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little arrow. Click on the arrow transform. And then there will be an, uh, a section right here for position. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the ticker for position. Uh, and we're going to make it last. I'm going to make it last um, 8 seconds. And then I'm going to uh, drag this right across. Click and drag it. It shows so a little a little dotted uh, line on the bottom, ensuring you that it is animating for you. And I'm going to drag through, and yes, the text is nice and animated for you, like so. So you guys are probably wondering why to pre why precompose it. If you don't precompose it, we're going to basically add a mask to it. And if you don't precompose the text file, then it'll basically move the mask along with the text when it's animating. We don't want that. We want the mask to stay in place and then the text be moving. Uh, we don't want the mask to, to be moving along with it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to basically add the mask on the pre-comp, uh, pre basically. We're going to go to the pen tool and we're going to... Uh, go to the part where you want the text to only be showing in and I want it to only be showing in this black section right here so I'm gonna go ahead and use the pen tool just outline it as much as I can best I can and you can as you can see the text disappeared but really when I scroll the text will only be animating in the black section where, right where I want it to be. It's not going to be, you know, coming uh, on this blue section and nothing like that. It'll just scroll right across, like so. And you're going to want to, uh, you know, export that like I showed you um, on the last animation. Okay, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, I'm going to show you in OBS on how they look. So um, basically, in OBS, you're going to want to download a plugin called Video Source, a Video Source plugin. And as far as I know, this is only for PC users because they have a 32 and a 64-bit version. I don't know if they have a uh, Mac version. That's why I recommend PC users to follow this tutorial only because I looked it up and I couldn't find no Mac version. Um, you know, Mac is a, uh, has OBS, but I don't think whoever made the plugin didn't make it for Mac users. I, I would have to do some more research on that. If you guys um, do find a version for Mac, I'd highly recommend that you guys put it in, in the comment section so that it'll help others that um, want to follow this tutorial that are using Mac. So first off, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, these that I made earlier. And I'm going to basically, after you have the uh, plugin nice and installed into your OBS uh, folders, I'm going to right click and add and click video. This will let you add a video overlay um, even if it do does or does not have a alpha channel. I'm going to name this uh, overlay. I'm going to click OK. And this will basically, the video settings will basically be what you are streaming at. I'm recording this video in 1920 by 1080, so that's what I'm going to put. And I'm going to go down here to the playlist editor and click on the little question mark. And I'm going to go to the overlay animation number one, which is the top portion of my overlay. And since I want it to be playing over and over and over and over again, I'm going to put playlist looping on. This will basically keep putting this... Uh, uh, looping it over and over and over again without stopping until you go and change it yourself to stop. Uh, if you don't want that on, you can obviously click that off, but I highly recommend that you guys would probably you know, put this on anyway, so I'm going to click OK on that. And as you can see, it popped up right on top, and uh, you see the glare go by, and this will last for it has however many seconds that you set it at, and uh, you know, usually I have it set at like, say, 15 seconds. Um, and the glare will only last for one second. I don't want it to be going across constantly. I want it to just uh, the glare to come in every now and then. Um, I don't want it to just you know annoy people. See, I did it again after like maybe uh, 12 to 10 seconds. Um, so now I'm going to add the other portion of it. Um, I'm going to hide that and I'm going to add another video. I'm going to name this text animation. Whoops, text animation. And I'm going to change the video settings to the same, 1920 by 1080. I'm going to put playlist looping on because I know I'm going to want uh, playlist looping on for this one. And I'm going to put the animation uh, 2 on there. And I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, the text is scrolling right, uh, right across. Um, and it'll basically see it'll disappear. But and then it'll replay and it'll come into frame again. Um, 
nice and smoothly see it'll just keep going right across um, you can do little uh, animations like it fading in um, you know in place and then scrolling across and then fading in again you can you guys can do that but you would have to figure out you know where the keyframes start and where they would end so I made an actual uh, well as you can see I can play both of these I can put both of these at the same time as long as you have them both in different playlists um, if you have them in the same playlist once one is finished the other one will start uh, and disappear I don't you don't want that you wanted the both to be playing at the same time so I'm gonna make those disappear I'm gonna change scenes real quick I'm gonna change it to an example that I used um, that I'm gonna use um, to show you guys what you are capable with uh, with twitch overlays um, so this is what I did for my friend. Um, this is basically his Twitch overlay on top with the glare and then some electricity on the um, stocks that I had put over his uh, his name. Um, see how it, it, it nice it flashes. Um, and then on the bottom right, there's a 3D text that I made and animated in Cinema 4D, and then put uh, some electricity uh, shocking it as it's animating. And I put both of these at a loop, so it's going to keep replaying, replaying, replaying. And I basically made it uh, in Cinema 4D, um, you know, using uh, you know uh, different tickers on Cinema 4D, basically keyframing it to where it'll basically uh, go around in a 360 and then it'll go back to where it's from and then it'll basically stay uh, move very slightly stationary where it's at and then it'll go to a 360 again over and over and over again so as you can see guys this is what is capable in video overlays um, I am offering these um, to anyone who wants to make an order and purchase some of these uh, you know custom designs like this um, the prices range from 10 to uh, ten ten dollars and up depending on what you want um, you know if it's 3d text if it's uh, you know stock footage if it's you know uh, I can actually you can actually animate uh, your B rack back pages so it's not just a flat image uh, you can go all around with this I, I know creative grenade does this uh, did do offer this now and uh, I was like that's easy you can do this very easily excuse me but uh, I wanted to do a tutorial like this because I don't know if people know that this is very capable um, in doing this in on Twitch. Uh, most people use OBS anyways. So this is very good for the people who want to stream and who want to have some nice effects playing, you know, um, while they're streaming. And, you know, their, their viewers will like it very, very much. It'll be nice appealing. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the uh, overall tutorial. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, um, just leave it in the comment section. Obviously, give me some ideas for future tutorials. Um, if you guys want to make an order, obviously my uh, contact information, whether it's my Skype or my business email, is down below as well. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.